Hey guys, before I jump into today's video, I first wanna say a big thanks to all of you for your love, your encouragement, your kind words about my new haircut. It meant a lot to me and it made me smile. Now enjoy this video. It's that time of year, time to gather with friends and make and eat tons of food. It is my first Thanksgiving here in London, so even though they don't celebrate Thanksgiving here, with the help of my Feast by Three partners, we had an autumnal feast to be remembered. With our sponsors Bloom and Wild, who provided the foliage and Dassey Artisan with the tableware, it gave new meaning to the word hospitality. As far as the food goes, I made the stuffing. Food 52's contest winner ciabatta stuffing with chorizo, sweet potatoes, and mushrooms. More on that later. And Nathaniel made an epic wellington with partridge, pigeon, venison, and rabbit. I mean, we had to make the meal more British somehow. We had cabbage slaw and roasted parsnips and potatoes, green bean salad and beet salad, and of course, a side of cranberry sauce. Yeah. And dessert. We had spiced and spiked apple cider, pumpkin pie and pear tarts, and a dope cheese plate. But back to this stuffing. It was legit off the chains. Everyone wanted the recipe, so I figured I'd just share it here. It's from the Food 52 Best Thanksgiving Stuffing Contest. Here's how to make it. Cut up nine cups of ciabatta bread into about one inch thick pieces. Toss the bread cubes with rosemary and a few tablespoons of sage, two sliced garlic cloves, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and salt and pepper. Spread that on a baking sheet and bake until they're golden. Then cut up all the ingredients that you'll saute. That's one cup of chorizo, diced, one red onion, diced, three cups of sweet potato, diced, and five cups shiitake mushrooms, sliced. Saute each ingredient one by one in a skillet with olive oil and salt and pepper. Combine all of those ingredients with the bread cubes. Then whisk one egg with two cups of broth, chicken, turkey, vegetable broth, whatever stack you prefer, and add it over the bread mixture. Add some more sage, a bit of melted butter, and toss it until it's thoroughly and evenly moistened. Do you guys feel weird about that word? I do too. Moving on. Now I'll cover it with aluminum foil and pop it in the fridge for an hour. Then bake it at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Then remove the foil, add a bit of olive oil, and bake for 15 more minutes. And you're done. But now the really important question of how to eat the leftovers. This stuffing rocks leftover, and here are my preferred ways of eating it. First, the good old Thanksgiving stuffing hash dish. The next morning, just saute these leftovers with a fried egg and you'll be stoked for the stuffing reprise. Or, I recently got this sweet Cuisinart two-in-one grill and sandwich maker. What I love about it is that it heats up the leftover stuffing while also giving it an awesome crisp texture so it doesn't even feel like a leftover. And it gives it a fun shape, whether you're using the sandwich or grill fittings. So it kind of almost feels like a new dish entirely. For a Thanksgiving abroad, I would call this whole event a big old success. Thanks to everyone who helped, Connor for helping me capture the event, and Nathaniel and Sarah. Big hugs and massive thanks to my Feast by Three partners, Charlotte and Supel. You guys are the best to food and friends. Gosh, Thanksgiving is like the best, right? Happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and as always, keep it quirky. Yeah. Yeah.